Today, I'm going to answer a question everybody desperately needs to know, but is afraid to ask. Can you power an electric bike, or any EV for that matter, with a solar panel without using a battery? This is a conundrum that is especially hard to resolve, especially for a bike, because where are you going to put the solar panel, especially a panel this big? And this is where my little contraption comes in. If it doesn't look familiar to you, take a look at this thing. That's a little canopy on the top. And this thing is a thing that you use to carry your little monkey around. My little monkey is bigger than me now, weighing over 150 pounds. So he won't fit in here anymore. But this is perfect to carry a solar panel on it. Let me show you what I did. I removed the top frame that secured the canopy together. And you see the four bars, they are original. And all I did was to screw a copper piece of 2x4 onto the four bars. And voila, that is the support for the solar panel. And this is going to be attached to the back of the bike and I'm going to tow the solar panel behind my bike. This solar panel puts out 63 volts when it's not under load. Open circuit. My battery pack is 15S and when it's fully charged. Coincidentally, it's also 63 volts. So this solar panel is perfect to power this e-bike. The open circuit voltage of the solar panel is 63 volts, but when under load, it's only about 55 volts. So it's perfect for this e-bike. At least that's the theory. Let's hook it up and make sure that it works before I put everything together. Alright, let's do a bench test. I got a panel hooked up to a cable with an XT60 adapter here and the voltage output right now is 63 volts all right the main wire is hooked up to the solar panel now i'm gonna switch on and turn this on there we go it's on 100 percent full that's without the battery there's no battery in here straight from the solar panel all right now i gotta lift up the wheel and we're gonna try to see if it would work. Yes! It's working. Let's see how fast we get on the odometer. 40, 48 miles per hour. All right, so here we go. I've got the cart connected to the bike. I've got the wheels installed and I mount the solar panel on the two by four using L brackets. That's the L bracket on one side and one more on the other side. And that is strong enough to hold the panel together. It's very sturdy. And here is the electrical cable that goes underneath to the back of the bike and connected to this connector here that goes to the main controller. All right, here we go again in the sun full sun okay well it works but real slow it's really slow and if I push the throttle too much the controller will shut off that means the voltage is, is too low All right we're at seven miles per hour eight so I have to feather the throttle otherwise you can see the lights over here it will turn off there it will turn off if i push it too much so let's go slowly yep so nine miles per hour it turns off okay i have to feather it real slow now 10 10 miles per hour now it turns off okay so you have to back up the throttle and then try to feather it 
Alright, there is a slight uphill ahead of me. Let's see how it performs uphill. Alright, I'm gonna have Junior riding it uphill. Go ahead. How is it? Looks like it struggled a lot going uphill. Looks like he has to pedal a lot. Does it work? Barely. Doesn't look like it's working going uphill. Well, it looks like I don't have enough power. Right now it's the end of October. It's almost winter. So the sun is at an angle it's not straight above my hand it's at an angle you can see right now it's a noon time but the shadow is way at an angle so this panel usually produce around i would say close to 300 watts in the summer but right now maximum we can get probably around 190 180 watts max so this might work if you're in the middle of the summer where the sun's right above your head then yes definitely this will work this panel is one of the biggest most efficient solar panel i can get for this size so i don't know how i can make this better unless i can tow another trailer and put on a second panel on the back here a few days later here it is I got the second trailer with a second solar panel and I'm gonna connect both of these in parallel to double the output let me show you how I connect the two trailers together I got a piece of 2x4 mounted on the back of the first trailer and then I've got the mount screw right onto the 2x4 and then from there I mount the second trailer on that Pretty simple. All right, I'm ready to go. I've got my air meter here to measure how much current I get from the two panels. Here we go. Ready? Yeah. Choo -choo. Choo -choo. All right. See what we got. Five, seven. 8 miles per hour I got a lot more power now and uh, it doesn't cut out well, that's good but the uh, trailer is too long it's weighing so it's hard to control but the power is good it doesn't cut out anymore So there you have it to answer the question can you power an electric bike with just solar panels without a battery the answer is yes definitely when you have two 330 watt solar panels installed on two trailers behind your bike i have a total of 660 watts of potential power here but because it's almost winter here i get only about half of that in the summer i might get away with just one solar panel the real issue here is how to mount on a trailer in a way that it doesn't sway too much. So while it's possible to run your e-bike with this setup, it's not practical. This solar panel weighs about 50 pounds. The width of the solar panel is about 45 inches. This trailer does not fit on a bike trail. This panel is just too big. But then, if you don't have a solar panel big enough, it won't have enough power to run your bike. Yep, you're stuck in a catch-22. And then, there's an issue with shading. If there's a cloud cover, then you don't have enough power. 
if your bike path has some shading from trees, then you don't have enough power. And then there's a problem with the angle at which the sun ray hits the solar panel. That means you don't have enough power if you ride early in the morning or late in the afternoon when the sun is not directly above your head. You also don't have enough power in the winter where the sun rays always hit the panel at an acute angle. And that's why I have two solar panels in two trailers now. But as you add more panels and more trailers, you're adding more weight and drag. Each trailer here with a solar panel on it weighs about 100 pounds each. The total weight of two trailers with the bike and a monkey on it is a whopping 500 pounds. More weight and drag means your panel have to be bigger to provide enough power. That's another catch-22 you have to deal with. There are so many problems with this setup that it would be a lot easier just to spend the extra money to install a battery pack in here. That would solve all of the problems I mentioned earlier and you can even install a smaller solar panel. To sum up, a solar powered battery less electric bike is never going to be a reality. You will always need a battery unless you're Neil Armstrong. But wait, isn't that the guy who went on the moon? Oh, then who's the bicycle guy then? Who's Lance Armstrong? I never heard that name before. A bicycle. Did you make that up? No. Anyway, you got the point, right? No. Well, anyway, I hope you guys on YouTube will get my point. And that's all I have for now, folks. Thanks for watching. See you next time.